how we communicate may largely depend on the context. It depends on the situation we are at and to the person whom we are talking to. Today, we are going to talk about speech styles. This definition implies that humans vary their speech styles according to the situation and the people involved in the communication process. In terms of formality, we may consider using formal or informal language. Formal language is less personal, while informal language is more casual and spontaneous. Basically, the language we use may be formal or informal. Different people in different situations call for different styles, which resulted in Martin Jubes, a German professor and linguist, further classifying the speech styles into intimate, casual, consultative, formal, and frozen. For the intimate style, the keyword is private. There is the sense of intimacy and belongingness. Grammar is not that necessary. Personal codes may be used, and certain terms of endearment are allowed, such as honey, babe, and love. Slang words, jargon, vernacular language, or the mother tongue can be used. Even incomplete sentences are accepted in the casual style. An example of this is when you hear two teenagers talking about how lit the concert they have just seen. Lit means raging or extremely great in their jargon. The keyword for consultative is standard, which means it utilizes the mutually accepted language. It is the most operational among the five styles. We use it for our everyday transactions. It may be considered as a semi-formal language style. In formal style, the language is comparatively rigid and the vocabulary is well documented. It is used for professional or academic purposes. It is usually one way. An example of this is a guest speaker on a graduation delivering his message. The frozen style is a fixed speech. Since it's frozen, it does not change. A best example of this is a priest reading the Lord's Prayer during the Mass. How he delivers or recites the prayer does not change. It has always remained the same. In classifying speech styles, one should consider levels of formality and status. Depending on the degree of closeness between the sender and the receiver, speech styles may move from less formal to most formal or vice versa.